Remember the moment when you picked up an air guitar for the first time? Tentative, even a little self-conscious. Then the music took over and you rocked. Friday night at the Grand Ballroom of the Regency Center on Van Ness Avenue in San Francisco, this primal rock and roll instinct was celebrated by a capacity crowd gathered to see a champion named in the U.S. National Air Guitar Finals. 24 U.S. Regional Air Guitar Heroes jammed the stage to shred for glory and the opportunity to represent their country at the World Air Guitar Finals in Finland later this month. The three-hour contest was divided into two rounds. During round one, performers had just 60 seconds to rock the house by performing to a song they had chosen. 60 seconds to convince a three-man panel of judges that they have what it takes to be competitive on the world stage in Finland. What exactly does it take to be a champion? It goes beyond simple technique. You need a hard to define quality the experts call airness. There's just this, um, what we call airness, which is the mystical je ne sais quoi. You literally, you forget you're watching an air guitar performance and you're just transported uh, and it becomes, you know, something even purer. So for example, when Shreddy Mercury from New York tossed his air guitar high into the uh, air, then caught it while continuing to play, well, can airness get any airier? Or how about when M.O.D., the U.S. regional winner from Austin, played behind his back? That there is some rare air. Physical endurance and an ability to withstand pain is important too, especially when attempting an unrehearsed crowd dive. Somebody call 911. Jeopardize the lives of five innocent people in the front row. It also really helps to know where the stage ends and the crowd begins. That was like a stage belly flop. Please welcome the only nine-toed air guitarist. Betty B. Good had part of her toe amputated as a result of an injury suffered at a regional competition in New York last month. And on this night, right at the end of his first round performance, Hot Licks Houlihan, the 2006 national champion, jammed his thumb. Hot Licks Houlihan! I think he's holding it. It's pretty, uh, stick it up. It's shaking pretty hard. It's definitely broken. Oh, dear God. I'm going to barf. Oh, my God. Someone get him some ice cream. The purpose of the evening was to select a national champion, but there could be only one. I know that things are going On stage, six finalists listened together to the one assigned song, Ozzy Osbourne's Crazy Train, a song each of them would be required to interpret. Then it was time to thrash for the gold in the final round. Hometown favorite, Awesome, the artist formerly known as Shred Begley Jr., scored well, as did another first-round standout, McNallica from Boston. But despite his injured thumb, which required a liberal amount of gaffer's tape to support, Hot Licks Houlihan, who lives in Alameda and whose real name is Craig Billmeyer, was fearless in the final round. As for airness, how about this flip dive into the crowd? Oh, 
then a toss back onto the stage without missing a beat. That was enough to convince the judges, one of whom gave Hot Licks seven out of a possible six points. When I heard Ozzy and his crazy train, I mean, that's, I, I will hear that in elevators someday. It's like a standard of rock music. And I just, I knew like, okay, I stand a chance here. I, I know this song, like on the technical level, I'm gonna hit every note, I just know it. The last five people, they showed airness. It was a very tough decision to uh, rate these people because they were so good at what they did. But I feel like we, you know, we made the right choice. We uh, picked the right person to represent the United States of America at the U.S. Air Guitar uh, World Finals in Finland. All right, ladies and gentlemen, your new champion, Hotlix Hulahan. With the winner chosen, it was time for the crowd to rush the All right, stage. You guys know what it's time for. Making sure to leave no stoner unturned, the night ended with that anthem of air guitarists everywhere, Freebird.